A is a five by three matrix. The null space of A is a subspace of our n, where n is equal to what number? For a quick review, if A is an m by n matrix, then the null space of A is the set of all vectors x in our n such that A times vector x equals the zero vector. The null space of A is a subspace of our n, where our n is the number of columns in the matrix. So because our matrix has three columns, the null space of A is a subspace of R3, or Rn, when N is equal to three. Now that should make sense because if we take a look at the equation A times vector X equals a zero vector, the vectors X make up the null space, and we know in multiplying matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix, and since matrix A is a five by three matrix, vector X as a matrix must be a three by one matrix, since it has three components, it's a subspace of R3. Next, what is the largest the rank of A could be? The rank of A is equal to the dimension of the column space of A, which equals the number of pivot columns. So because our matrix A is a five by three matrix, it is possible to have a pivot in each column. For example, we could have a pivot here, here, and here, and therefore the maximum number of pivot columns would be three, which is the largest the rank of A could be. Next, what is the smallest the rank of A could be? Well, there could be zero pivots. For example, if matrix A is the zero matrix, the smallest the rank of A could be is zero. The next two questions involve the nullity, and therefore it's a good time to talk about the rank theorem, which states, if A is an n by n matrix, then the rank of A plus the nullity of A is equal to n, the number of columns of A. So for the next question, what is the largest the nullity of A could be? The nullity of A is equal to the dimension of the null space of A, which equals the number of free variables or number of non-pivot columns. So the largest number of non-pivot columns would occur when the rank is equal to zero, since the rank plus the nullity must equal three the number of columns. And therefore the largest the nullity of A could be is three. Of course, if we have three non-pivot columns, there would be zero pivot columns, and therefore again, matrix A would have to be the zero matrix. The last question is what is the smallest the nullity of A could be? Well, this would occur when the rank is the largest at three, and since three plus the nullity must equal the number of columns, the smallest the nullity of A could be would be zero. So the nullity of A is zero when there are zero non-pivot columns, which means all three would be pivot columns. I hope you found this helpful.